fault analysis using Thevenin's theorem solved problem problem number one. A synchronous generator and a motor are rated 30,000 kVA, 13.2 kV, and both have subtransient reactants of 20 percentage. The line connecting them has a reactance of 10 percentage on the base of mission rating. The motor is drawing 20,000 kilowatt at 0.8 power factor leading and a terminal voltage of 12.8 kV. When a symmetrical three phase fault occurs at the motor terminals, find the subtransient current in the generator, the motor, and the fault by using internal voltages of the machines. So, these are the given data 30,000 kVA, 13.2 kV, and the subtransient uh, reactants XD double dash is 20 percentage and XT equal to 10 percentage. And in the motor side, 20,000 kilowatt. 0.8 power factor leading and the terminal voltage is specified as 12.8 kV. Solution, the first step, you need to draw the single line diagram as a single generator. In between, you will be having a transmission line of a reactance XT equal to 10 percentage and here you will be having a motor. The fault occurs at the motor terminal. Okay, So, you need to obtain the equivalent circuit for this uh, single line diagram and for generator EG double dash into this reactance of the generator which is 20 percentage represented by J.2 and the load current is flowing like this and uh, XT the trans transmission line J.1 10 percentage and in the motor end you will be having J.2 that is 20 percentage again and this is a terminal voltage VTM this VTM is specified as 12.8 kV and this is a fault location F. Now actual value of pre fault voltage at fault point will be equal to 12.8 kV so before the fault this particular terminal voltage will be equal to 12.8 kV and the base values are MVAB equal to 30 MVA and KVB equal to 13.2 kV. So, usually if the base values are not given we need to consider the generator ratings as a base value. So, per unit value can be calculated VTM equal to actual value divided by base value is a per unit formula. So, actual value is 12.8 kV divided by the base value is 13.2 kV that will be equal to 0.9697 per unit. So, actual value of real power of the load PM equal to 20 megawatt or 20,000 kilowatt 0 0.8 leading power factor. So, per unit value equal to actual value by base value actual value is 20 base value is 30 that will be equal to 0 0.6667 per unit and we know that P is equal to V i cos phi. So, from that I equal to P divided by V cos phi. So, magnitude of I equal to P divided by Vtm into cos phi. So, here the load is uh, the motor load Pm. So, Pm value divided by Vtm into cos phi and it is a per unit value of magnitude of load current. So, you have to substitute the per unit values for Pm 0 0.6667 divided by and Vtm in the previous step we determined it is 0 0.9697 into the power factor cos phi is 0 0.8. You will be getting the magnitude of uh, load current will be equal to 0 0.8594 per unit. So, now taking VTM as a reference the terminal voltage across the motor as a reference the load current will lead the terminal voltage by some angle phi where this phi value will be equal to cos inverse of 0.8. So, the power factor cos phi is given as 0.8. So, phi equal to cos inverse of 0.8. So, here you can see VTM is reference and IL leads the voltage by an angle phi and this phi value will be equal to 36.9. So, VTM is reference and IL you need to calculate that angle will be equal to 36.9 which is uh, that angle will be equal to cos inverse of 0.8. Now, step 2 draw the Thevenin equivalent circuit at fault location. For the given problem using the single line diagram you can draw the equivalent circuit on generator then transformer and a motor this is a terminal voltage and at this particular point the fault occurs you need to obtain Z Thevenin here. Okay, first we need to calculate the Z Thevenin. So, Z Thevenin this fault point is a node and the impedances presents the left to the node to be added which is in series this two are in series you can just add this to J.1 and J.2 this two are in series and this J.2 is parallel with this answer. Okay, So, J.1 plus 0.2 the series combination into J.2 divided by J.1 plus 0.2 plus J.2 r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 parallel combination you will be getting a z thevenin as j.12. Now, the fault current expression if equal to v thevenin divided by z thevenin plus zf. So, v thevenin you know and z thevenin also uh, we calculated and zf the fault 
impedance is not specified in the problem so you need to consider a zero so obtaining the answer you will be getting 8.081 angle minus 90 per unit step 3 to find the change in current due to fault to find the change in current in other part of the system due to the fault for this the procedure is you need to fix the voltage source in a reverse polarity and we need to remove all the other sources okay so at fault location i am fixing this v thevenin in voltage in a reverse polarity okay so reverse polarity so current will be flowing like this i1 is flowing like this and i2 is flowing like this okay we need to obtain this i1 value i1 is equal to voltage is v thevenin divided by the reactance v by z okay v divided by z or x so j into 0.2 plus j 0.1 that is a reactance in the first loop and second loop only j 0.2 we substituting will be getting the current i1 and i2 these two currents are the currents in other part of the system due to fault and step 4 to find the subtransient fault current in motor and generator so the generator subtransition current ig double dash equal to i1 plus il so generator just we are adding this uh, the pre fault current i1 just now we calculated in step 3 you just add the, with the load current you will be getting the generator subtransient current and the motor end i2 minus il since the fault occurs at the motor terminal you need to subtract that value you will be getting this motor subtransient fault current so this is how uh, you need to solve the fault analysis using thevenin's theorem when the terminal voltages are given